Ah, Dublin on a beautiful sunny day. I could watch this forever. But what we are here to see in today's video are Air's flagship 5G masts, one of which is the basis of my desktop background here. Air are the Republic of Ireland incumbent telecommunications provider offering a wide range of communication services, including a 2G to 5G cellular mobile network, which is what we are interested in today. They do this using a wide range of frequency bands licensed by regulator Comreg, namely 2 by 10 MHz on 700, 800 and 900 megahertz alongside 2x15 MHz on 1800 and 2100 megahertz, and then 80 megahertz or 85 megahertz of N78 C band dependent on the area type with 80 megahertz being licensed for areas that are rural and 85 megahertz for the city areas. So now that we know what spectrum bands are operated on there radio access network, we can go into the site with some background. Now fortunately, Air do not actually have that many flagship 5G and 4G configurations at all. And the sites are actually relatively straightforward to get one's head around, thanks to their use of modern multiband radios. So the first site I'm going to talk about is what's been behind me which is in central Dublin. Now this site carries 700, 800, 900, 1800, 2100 and the N78 5G. And with very little equipment, if we focus on what is facing us, there is the Huawei AAU or active antenna unit, which radiates the massive MIMO N78 C band 5G and then there is the passive antenna and its remote radios. This passive antenna is 6 band 12 port of which 8 of the ports are in use. The remote radios behind it of which there are only 2 carry the 5 bands I spoke about earlier so 700, 800, 900, 1800 and 2100. And the way that this is done through the use of only two remote radios is as follows. The 700, 800, 900 MHz all come out of one triple band radio, which is likely a 5509T or similar, which supports 2T4R capability and also a plethora of radio access technologies, including simultaneous multi rat multi band capability. And then the other remote radio is dual band 1800 and 2100 megahertz simultaneously, likely a 5501. And this is for transmit, for receive, again on both bands with multi rat simultaneous support. The antenna, therefore, has 12 ports because of expandability. At the time I was at this site, the 700 megahertz was used for 4G alongside the 800 megahertz and 1800 megahertz, with 900 megahertz being 2G, 3G, and 2100 megahertz being 3G. However, Air have been refarming 2100 megahertz completely over to 4G now, and 1800 megahertz also broadcast NR in some areas. This functional flagship layout is very prevalent on urban rooftops and city centre sites. Not always are the remote radios visible or the panels their original colour, but functionally this flagship configuration remains very much the same. In fact, even heading more rurally and onto pole type sites, the underlying architecture remains very much the same for the flagship build site. In this example photographed by Irish telecoms analyst Luke Kehoe, whose social media and website are linked below, Huawei's Blade AAU solution AAU5811 is used, which integrates the massive MIMO active antenna unit 
on top of the passive antenna for a visually singular appearance. However, fundamentally, the equipment is near enough identical. So in this case, there's a 32T32R active antenna unit mounted above the passive antenna, which is fed by a triple band remote radio perceptor and the dual band for the 700, 800, 900, 1800 and 2100 capability on that side of things. The passive also has spare ports for expandability as well. The 5G performance of these air sites, I haven't shown too much of yet. Luke, fortunately, got this video clip from New Ross, and you can see the 5G performance is very nice. And I look forward to being able to test it at some point, but obviously the current restrictions rather constrain the reasonable ability to do that at the moment. Now I've mentioned about expandability on these sites and most likely what this will mean is either 2300 MHz or 2600 MHz. The Irish multiband spectrum auction is due to happen quite shortly in which 2300 MHz and 2600 MHz will be able to be bid on by the mobile network operators. It is important to note that AIR does broadcast a type of telecoms network on 2300 MHz already under the outfit of Ruotel, but it's not a mobile cellular network like we've been talking about and hence I haven't really covered it. It is also important to note that a lot of the spectrum use shown in this video, such as the 700 MHz, is currently using a contingency licensing scheme from Comrec due to the pandemic with the spectrum due to be formally auctioned off during that multi-band spectrum auction. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this look at AIR's flagship 5G and 4G configurations in the Republic of Ireland and I hope to see you on the next video.